My haunted Appalachian stories My grandpa grew up in the mountains, Arno, Virginia. A very rural place he was one of 12 children and as you can imagine, space at home was tight. The family had moved into a creepy cabin far into the hills and shadows. My grandpa's name was Ed and he and one brother, Ray, were really close. They shared everything. Even a bed. An old feathered bed, the first week at this cabin and Ed and Ray had a night that neither could sleep there was a cold feeling in the air. And it was summer. Laying in bed, they heard a giggle. They assumed it was Effie or Dovey, one of their six sisters across the room. But calling out to hush. Nobody answered. They are all asleep, Ray said. Looking around the cabin the boys saw a sight they never forgot. Hanging, through the ceiling were a set of legs and bare feet. They were just swinging like someone was sitting on the roof and their legs came in through the ceiling. Ed screamed, Ray look. Ray did and without a word he kept from that bed, hit the floor and bolted out the front door. Ed looked back up at the legs, and swore he saw a child's face, now through the ceiling. He told me that he didn't think that his feet even touched the cabin floor. He was running for the gravel road where Ray stood. The boys spent two seasons sleeping on the porch that year.